Yeah, I think that some of the major breakthroughs has really been in the preclinical work. For the last 20 years, our laboratory scientists in our community have done an amazing job of creating laboratory models, whether in vitro or in vivo models in animals, um, to help us understand the biology of NF1, NF2, and schwannomatosis. And I think the big breakthrough is in the last decade for NF1, for example, a lot of the work uh, from Dr. Ratner, Dr. Clapp, and others to really understand what signaling pathways are involved in neurofibromas and then to translate that with partnership uh, with the clinicians like Brigitte Wiedemann and other people uh, into effective therapies. And for me, that's been an incredible advance because nothing is going to stimulate research and interest and funding like success. And so in my mind, the, the, the um, the efficacy, the success of drugs like MEK inhibitors or some of the other molecules like cabozantinib in treating plexiform neurofibromas and anti-angiogenic drugs like bevacizumab or Vastin NF2 really provide a basis for us to move forward. I'm extremely hopeful about where we're going now based on these successes. Well, I think that there is a renewed interest in some of the manifestations of NF that we have made less progress with, but there's a lot of energy now in funding. So cutaneous neurofibroma stands out as an area where we're poised to start making lots of contributions. Uh, another area that we're just beginning to grapple with, I think, is gene therapy and gene editing. As a genetic, as a group of genetic disorders, we're really interested in leveraging all this new technology. And one of the things that I think we're gonna to have to work on is this partnership between the investigators and the patients and their families on how do we take this technology into our community and make it work. I think that's an area we're gonna be working very hard on. I think it's gonna happen very quickly because the field, the larger field, is really pushing on gene editing as new technology comes out. And I hope we can apply it quickly. So that's where I'd say we stand right now. I think the other thing we didn't hear much about, but we've learned in the last year, is how do we develop clinical trial structures that are gonna help us screen drugs more quickly? And I think all of us are thinking about how to make that happen. So as we have this preclinical pipeline that reveals multiple molecules that could be helpful, how do we get that to patients really quickly? And I think we're, in the next few years, gonna be looking at those new models and implementing them. So our RANGE group, RANGE stands for the Response Evaluation of Neurofibromatosis and Schwannomatosis. It's an international collaboration of investigators and patients and patient representatives. We'll talk about that in a second. And this group was founded in 2011 really as a way to accelerate the approval of drugs as they become studied. And the idea was to take a very proactive approach in terms of understanding what will the regulatory agencies like the FDA and the EMA want to see from our studies. One challenge that we've had over time is because most things in NF that we want to treat are not cancerous, we didn't have the right regulatory infrastructure set up already to move drugs forward. So this program has been, to this collaboration has been an effort to bring together all those pieces so that in 2020, when a company or an academic wants to run a clinical trial, she or he will be able to look at all the approved endpoints that are relevant and just create a study that can be compared across different studies. And so we hope that that's going to also accelerate bringing drugs to approval. Now, one thing we realized a couple of years ago is that we were missing the most essential voice as we think about new treatments for NF, and that was patients and their families. And so two years ago, we brought in a group of 30 patient representatives who went through a um, application process, and all very talented people who are trying to provide uh, an expertise that investigators don't have, and that expertise is living with NF one NF2 schwannomatosis or being a family member, family member, excuse me, who does 
who lives with somebody affected by these conditions. And that perspective is a parallel experience equally valid to uh, the investigators, and we think it's enriched the community. So as we look forward to things like gene editing and gene therapy, we know that we're going to need this voice uh, to, to really design the correct trials and move forward. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Always a pleasure to work with you. <laughs> Bye.